Welcome, welcome, welcome guys. It's Mike and I have another vid for you today. And as you can see, today is a Citizen Marvel Spider-Man uh, review today. Uh, but before we get into the review, on the wrist is this behemoth Deep Blue Blue Tech Abyss 500. An absolute monster of a piece. But it's not about this today. Today we have this beautiful uh, Citizens Citizen Chrono Eco Drive Marvel Spider-Man watch. And this is lent in by a good friend and fellow watch enthusiast, Dane. Uh, shout out to Dane for lending this in. This is um, my first lent in piece and he has lent me uh, a couple of pieces from his collection. So we are going to be looking at uh, a couple of pieces and this is the first one. So let's get the box out of the way. And I will give you a look around and some stats. Put the box in the background there. So here we have it in the uh, blue and red Spider-Man theme. You can see that dial, gorgeous dial there with the web design on the dial face there. Obviously chronograph, so you have all your associated pushes, um, subdials there with the second subdial in the uh, lower portion near the six o'clock marker there. Now Dane does wear his watches. He doesn't um, <laughs> doesn't have cabinet queens like me. Um, good for you, Dane. That's what they're supposed to be. Uh, that's what you're supposed to do with them. You're supposed to wear them. But um, anyway, let's get on with some stats on this beautiful piece, guys. So this watch is um, the model number CA zero four two nine dash five W five three W, and it's the Marvel Spider Man series. Um, this is uh, it has a case size of forty four mil, so not a bad case size. You know, I know people are looking more towards the smaller case sizes now, but forty four mil, so it sits nicely on the wrist. Um, it has a height of 11.2 mils, so it's 11.2 mils high or thick. The lug width is a 22 mil in there, and the bracelet tapers down to a 20 mil, with the clasps coming back up at 22 mil again. So, lovely, uh, comfortable fit there um, with that with that 20 mil, 22 mil bracelet tapering down to 20 mil. Um, the lug to lug is 48 mil and the bracelet drops down nicely so that will sit nicely on your wrist uh, excuse my pause it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet and I have um, managed to put my fingerprints all over it sorry for that um, but it is a fingerprint magnet uh, so as I said yes the uh, lug to lug is a 48 mil as you can see the bracelet drops down nicely so that will fit nice sit nicely on the wrist and the weight overall weight is 172 grams so not a bad weight a um, little bit on the heavier side for a watch of this size but um, comfortable nonetheless uh, it does also have a 6.5 mil crown now you can see the crown is not knurled in any way but being 6.5 mil it's big enough for you to grip it when you need to not a bad, not a bad size um, for a crown that isn't knurled. Um, the watch is 100 meters water resistance. It does have mineral crystal, um, obviously solar because of the um, eco drive. And this finish you're seeing here is um, Citizen's proprietary chroma finishing. So, you know, I think Dane's had this for a couple of years, and he's used it. Good for you, Dane, for using your watches. Um, but you know this is a real review um, of a watch that is owned by someone who uses them and doesn't just store them away. Awesome, lovely screw down case back there with uh, the Spider-Man inscription on there. See if I can show that to you. When I get it in focus, there. Yep, lovely screw down crown, screw down case back there. And uh, let me put it on the wrist for you to show you what it looks like on my seven and 
a quarter now. Gone back down, guys. Seven and a quarter. So, on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it is a little bit uh, on the tight side for me. I would wear it a little, maybe um, one position uh, uh, loose, more loose than this. It does have a micro adjust on the clasp there, two position micro adjust. But yeah, as you can see, well, that's on my seven and a quarter. So, not bad at all. Feels lovely, nice and light, and what a fantastic looking watch. For all of you Spider-Man uh, Spider fans out there, you know, this is a beautiful piece to add to the collection. Marvel have done, I think, nine in this um, themed collection uh, of all the superheroes, um, nine of the Marvel superheroes, and uh, this Spider-Man, I think, is just gorgeous. Obviously, you've got the uh, chronograph um, complication there with your uh, second hands, second hand in the uh, lower six o'clock dial there. Date in the window. It's just a gorgeous looking watch, guys. Gorgeous looking watch, and you can still get them. So I've seen them on Amazon for um, the lowest I've seen them for is late, well, early two hundreds. So you know. Um, south of 250 up to and including 300s late 300s almost 400 so shop around because you can still get them you can still get them so for all you spider-man fans out there if you're a spider-man fan and you're a watch fan and you don't mind um, the citizen because it is a fantastic piece grab yourself one of these guys shop around and grab yourself one of these awesome awesome watch and also let me give you a loom shot because guys it does have a bit of loom on there let's get some light on there the hands do have some loom. it doesn't say what it is I'm pretty sure it's uh well I'm not sure what it is but uh, it doesn't it doesn't say what it is but have a look at this guys it does give you a nice loom display look at that not bad at all Not bad at all and it seems to last quite long yeah I could stare at that all night so let's get these lights back on so guys nice quick review of this lovely spider-man themed um, eco drive citizen chronograph as I always say guys wear all of your watches in the very best of health and until next time take care